Good day kids! Today, we will read short stories with comprehension check. Get up, Jackie! Ring, ring, rang the clock. But Jackie did not get up. Wake up, Jackie! Time for school! yelled mom. And yet, Jackie did not get up. Beep, beep, honk the horn of the bus. Jackie still laid snug on the bed. Suddenly, a rooster crowed out loud and sat on the windowsill. Jackie got up and said with cheer, I will get up now. I will. Your turn, kids. It's now time to answer the questions. 1. Who is the main character in the story? A. Jack B. Jiki C. Jackie <laughs> 2. Why did the main character need to wake up early? A. To get to school on time B. To get to work on time C. To get to bed on time 3. What woke the character up? A. The ringing of the alarm clock B. The crowing of the rooster C. Mom's yelling. Four. What did the character think as he or she laid snug on the bed? A. I do not want to get up yet. B. I do not want to be late today. C. I want to be extra early today. 5. What does it mean to say something with cheer? A. We say it sadly. B. We say it happily. C. We say it with fear. Six. Which of these statements fits the story? A. Jackie liked being woken up by a clock. B. Jackie liked being woken up by a bus horn. C. Jackie liked being woken up by a rooster. Let's now check your answers. 1. Who is the main character in the story? You're right, it's letter C, Jackie. 2. Why did the main character need to wake up early? Very good, it's letter A, to get to school on time. 3. 
What woke the character up? You're right, it's letter B, the crowing of the rooster. Four, what did the character think as he or she laid snug on the bed? That's right, it's letter A, I do not want to get up yet. 5. What does it mean to say something with cheer? Very good, it's letter B. We say it happily. 6. Which of these statements fits the story? You're right, it's letter C. Jackie liked being woken up by a rooster. Okay, go. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's continue with the next passage. Waiting for the peddler. Mama was feeling sick. Lisa, I cannot make you a snack. She said, Can you watch out for the peddler while I rest? Yes, Mama, Lisa answered. Soon, a man shouted, Taho! Taho! Lisa ran. Two cups, please, she said. Lisa paid the man. She got one cup of taho and gave the other to Mama. Thank you, Lisa. I feel much better now, said Mama. You're welcome, Mama. Your turn, kids. Let's now answer the questions. 1. What is it that Mama could not do? A. She could not go out. B. She could not make Lisa a snack. C. She could not wait for the peddler. Two. Which of the following did not happen in the story? A. Lisa went out to buy the hawk. B. Lisa waited for the peddler. C. Lisa made a snack for Mama. Three-two timer. Three. Which of the following words best describes Lisa? A. Obedient. B. Resourceful. C. Hardworking. Four. Which statement tells us what a peddler can do? A. A peddler sells snacks. B. A peddler visits the sick. C. A peddler brings medicine. something or someone we blank a look at something b wait for something c go away from something six 
Which statement best fits the story? A. It is good to visit the sick. B. It is best to buy from a peddler. C. Those who help us sometimes need help too. Let's now check your answers. A. What is it that Mama could not do? Very good! It's letter B. She could not make Lisa a snack. 2. Which of the following did not happen in the story? You're right! It's letter C. Lisa made a snack for Mama. 3. Which of the following words best describes Lisa? Very good! It's letter A. Obedient. 4. Which statement tells us what the peddler can do? You're right! It's letter A. A peddler sells snacks. 5. When we watch out for something or someone, we... Very good! It's letter B. Wait for something. 6. Which statement best fits the story? You're right! It's letter C. Those who help us sometimes need help too. How many scores did you get? Wow! That's awesome! Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to be notified on our next learning episode. Until next time, kids, see you!